Yeah, why does Druid always feel so broken every time an expansion comes out? This time it's all thanks to Aulonius, who doubles your bonus from spell damage, including some himself. And when you pair that with cover artists to copy your Aulonius and you play some magical dollhouses, people just die. Heroes just blow up. Uh, this particular list was played to top 100 legends, but let me tell you something. I did not play this like a top 100 legend player. I don't know what I'm doing. I, did, I, I just played out the cards and and people died and they blew up. In other words, there's just so much damage sometimes you don't have to be perfect. And I'm sure I've missed some lethals in this video. I'm sure like it's probably moments where it's like, oh, if you do this exact sequence, you could have killed them a turn earlier or whatever. And, and that's fine, but I won a ton just kind of playing out cards and getting 20 damage swipes times two or three. I think, you know, you can just like sparkling file for 18 and then another sparkling file for 18 and then a swipe for 20. And obviously most people blow up when that happens. So a uh, pretty crazy deck here that you can win even when you're bad, which says a lot about just how crazy the power output on Aulonius and friends can be. Um, I have no idea how to mulligan in this deck. Um, Crystal Cluster seems a little greedy, but we also need mana. So I don't know. When is uh, Deck Tracker going to update so that I can see my cards? Not sure how to check for updates, but I don't think uh, it's offering anything. Spectacular. Yeah, I think we can always play Dollhouse down. I think that's fine. So A and R, um, uh, drawing cards could be cool, but I also think restoring hero to full health is pretty cool with funnel cake in this deck because um, oh, it's literally in hand too. Yeah, it helps you build a board while still retaining enough mana so that you can like use your overheal here for um, mana refresh and. That way you can get like Aulonius down and still make plays. But um, I haven't played this yet, so we're gonna get some experience. This list uh, came from hearthstone-decks.net. I don't know who played it to number 85 legend, but somebody did. So it's, uh, it's a bit proven. I think we do this even without worrying about... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't really want any of these. I mean, Salesman we can play early. We can technically trade it too, probably for some card draw. So we don't have any of our like good mid game, early game stuff. We're looking for like bottomless toy chest, uh, life binders gift. It's a few things here that would be useful. Life binders gift. Um, I'm trying to think what that's useful for, but I'm not. I'm not seeing it. Do, do, do. Now, the one thing I'll have to be mindful of, I think, <coughs> with this deck in particular, is like non Aulonius lethals, right? Like everything is always a little bit plus, like three, three. We're already at six damage. Find two of these and you're already at eight damage, right? Things start to snowball pretty quickly if you get them low enough. So Crystal Cluster, I guess we push the 10 and just draw with ANR right now because I feel like my hand is very stuck. What is Life Binder's gift for in this deck? I don't know. Oh, just reducing, I guess, is super useful. What do I mean? I was thinking this was the other one. I'm going to be real with you. I thought this was the Forge uh, Choose One one, not this one. So never mind. Discounted spells are obviously amazing. Like Crystal Cluster for five would be amazing, right? All this stuff costing zero lets you have more spicy combo plays. So just so many, uh, so many potential lines off that. Cover artist, we just literally have nothing to do, man. Uh, I'm gonna trade. We just have to find plays. Like we'll get that back later, right? We just need stuff to do. Um, wild growth, kind of wasted. Swipe kind of wasted i guess i could spell damage swipe right now just to not die like the spell damage will come back up by the time we need it so it's probably okay opponent is playing oh they're playing whiz bang i didn't even catch it but it's clear they have uh 
a bunch of random discovered stuff so it's got to be whispering yeah which that's good news probably for us they're gonna have an unrefined game plan and we're gonna have a super refined game plan now they are having more fun than me <laughs> i don't find decks like this particularly fun to be honest um so i'm a little jealous toy chest pretty weak for them i think we rip cluster it's fine i just basically pass but i'm on 10 for the anr which draws me cards which I guess advances the game plan and makes a 5-5. Five, five. Nothing else. <coughs> so. We'll see. Okay. Dragon Tails. That's usually pretty good. It's a pile of good stuff. Big dragon like a Alex Draws or something could be scary. So, Anar for draw, I think, is it for sure. Oh, Dragon Golem. Not bad, dude. Not bad, actually. Pretty good stuff. I'm making a 5-5 five, five here. I guess we trust that's good enough, right? We don't... Do we innervate first? Not, like, doing anything this turn usually. I, I think not. We're still going to draw four. I mean, I could maybe prevent a burn... Like, Innervate into Dollhouse is probably okay. Fine with that. Put these together so we have funnel cake lines, maybe. So Yogg next turn could clear. Uh, we can do Pendant to find Aulonius, actually. That's pretty nice. And then we're... Dang, we might be looking at, like, lethal-ish... Uh, with Alonius double spell, that's three, which is really six spell damage, which is eight damage here. I guess we don't really have, well, we do have a ton of bonus mana and we might, oh, they gained 10 armor. That's a lot. <coughs> <coughs> I, we're going to be close to lethal, man. Are they not going to kill this? Oh my goodness. Uh, we can just heal. They just hit me in the face. That's fine. Oh my god, we just drew the Aulonius. Are you kidding me? Is this lethal? It feels like it, it might be. Especially if I'm looking at refreshed mana crystals here. Um... I don't I don't even know I actually have no idea do I have enough I don't know if I have enough I don't it's so much bigger than I thought <laughs> it's, def it's definitely lethal I was gonna say I don't know if I have enough spells but I definitely do oh my god they can, they, you can't leave the mana refresh up, I don't think, guys. That's a problem. Okay, actually a pretty legit hand, yeah. I like this a lot. Yeah, Salesman is awesome. Whizbang Warrior, that's good news. The evil deck's pretty bad. There are some good Whizbang decks. I don't think this is one of them. Yeah, no turn two, but that's chill. We got great turn three lines. Pendant is totally okay. Just rip it. We don't need the heal right now. Definitely against this evil deck, we don't need the heal. No, like, scary Odin threats or whatever. Just doing our thing. Evil miscreant. Yeah. Um, We're on a pretty good owl path at the moment. Yeah, and I don't expect a ton of pressure, so I don't think, like, Yogg matters much either. But this is a pretty good uh, owl path, especially if we can find, say, um, well, more spell damage, obviously. But also, you know, Funnel Cake, some card draw is always welcome. We got this to start at least. But Owl, um, 
Tuner bait cover artist is great, even with just, you know, a single snake oil. That's pretty nice. Opponent is like doing more work on board than I thought they would. Uh, don't know if we swipe yet. It's, I mean, it's honestly not bad. I don't know how much like follow up I expect them to have. I think we like swiping later better if we can always because we can get more spell damage with it potentially later. Okay, more tiny lackeys, lackey generators, garbage bodies. Zack is warmer than I expected. The lackey's just doing work, man. Yeah, life binders is insane here. Um, obviously, some great discounts for various cards. Um, boy, I guess A and R is probably the spiciest play, but without ramp, I don't know, man. Miracle Salesman has me kind of intrigued because we're like getting there on Alonius already, dude. I don't know. I mean, we need mana. Is the problem at the moment, right? Like this is an eleven mana line, so we need we need to get to ten for the innervate to make the difference. But one one crystal cluster puts us in range of winning the game, I think. And I'm still on a good swipe here just to tidy all this nastiness up, you know? It's like we're... There's a lot of minions. There's not that much pressure yet. I will crush you. Cover artist again. We have kind of too many of these now. Uh, swipe hero power. I'm more worried about the evil totem or the agent argent protector. Honestly, probably the argent protector, right? This taunt is a little annoying. Do we ever seedling for one? I don't think so yet because we're just not under that much pressure and ultimately we're not quite there yet from a mana standpoint either. You know, we need more ramp first or whatever, so. We'll just chill for now. If the opponent plays a wide board again and I find funnel cake, that would be another way for me to start cheating things into play faster, right? There's also maybe something with Alonius into Vile. Like even if you don't get all the spell damage off this, it, like it may still allow you to cheat a lethal somehow. I haven't pieced that out yet, but it seems possible anyway. More lackeys, of course. I can't target this with Funnel Cake. No, you're killing me right now. We're back to 32 though. Could maybe stand something here. Oh my God, I actually hit the Funnel Cake, bro. I guess this still overheals three in the middle though. So if I go Alonius, Innervate, Funnel Cake, I refresh three. I don't have a cover artist yet, so we're not there yet on that. Alfurian's well, gift into wild growth is probably right. Oh, Innervate Crystal Cluster is also insane though, right? Because I can use this for the refresh on the Alonius. That should be fine for next turn. Yeah, I think this is okay. It's It's kind of the worst time to play this in a weird way because you don't get a 3-7 and you kind of overkill your ramp, but it's okay. Fantastic Treasure might just be too late here. I think the opponent is probably dead. I'm not 100%, I guess, but... I don't know. I only have two doubles, so... You're only gaining... Pl no, they're definitely not dead. I'm, I'm... No, I'm overcoming here. They're definitely not dead yet. I can actually just confirm they're not dead. <laughs> it's it's not oh maybe maybe that's death uh double funnel cake that does let me get the double cover artist this one's a tribute. oh no it doesn't let me get the double cover artist 
Oh, just kidding. Uh... Okay, they're, I think they're still dead. Yeah, they're very dead. <laughs> okay, were they dead anyway? I don't know. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> dude, that's like that's the story of this deck, right? Is I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the right lines are. I don't know what the math is, but it, it's just so stupidly big that you just start playing the cards and it just it sorts itself out you just win it's just it's just dumb dumb giant numbers it's all you need just start playing cards and the game's over <sighs> okay love seedling early of course actually love bottomless toy chest early too i don't i don't know if these are mulligan worthy keeps or not right it's hard to say i don't think swipe and cover artists are i know that so it's like you know the funnel cake linear stuff you're probably playing at the end of the game the turn you win you're not really trying to play it early so they don't feel like good mulligan cards to me but at the same time you just have to have stuff to do and react sometimes and those are at least cheap funnel cake probably really bad early though i don't i don't see us using that at all do we ever play toy chest minus spell damage i don't know i, I actually like life minders here because Crystal Cluster is pretty good. Swipe is damage getting discounted. Don't really have a lot of card draw right now, so the seedling is like kind of iffy. Could 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 arguably wait a turn on this. I'm sure there's a good argument for that, but I think we play seedling on four. This doesn't blossom this turn, right? It blossoms next turn. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect draw then, yeah. Salesman or Yogg? Yogg is a bit more of a payoff for Crystal Cluster. Not a win condition, but we already have one cover artist, and we don't have any real, like, win stuff. Yeah, we don't have Alonius, we don't have Dollhouse, we don't have Funnel Cakes, we don't have damage, so I don't think taking the one drop makes any sense anyway. Okay, clearance promoter. Oh, it's kind of scary. We don't coin crystal cluster here, do we? No, I think coins too valuable. I don't think we need to. Dollhouse is a fantastic card to tempo out though. We can, do we hit the button here? It's kind of nice when you hit the button and you cast a, a damage spell with it, but same time, we don't really have to. We're at eight. We're planning to crystal cluster next turn. I think we can do it. Cover artist? Or just find Alonius, right? I don't know. This finds Alonius and ANR, which seems like a good payoff for crystal cluster. I'm not sure that's right, but. <laughs> We need to find our good cards. We need to find our win conditions. That's probably right. Greedy partner and clearance promoter. I am very nervous. Are these like ways to discount Wheel of Death? I mean, I think we can outrace Wheel of Death anyway, most of the time, but kind of making me nervous. Yog, anything to steal? Clearance promoter is a pretty cool card to steal if I'm not worried about dying, which I'm certainly not right now. Uh. I love discounted spells, and I don't want the opponent to discount spells. We steal the clearance promoter, man. I just don't need to clear the board that badly. It's not that scary. This is hilarious. I did not expect this, but I love it. Uh, yoink. <laughs> what do we get here? Crop rotation, that's fine. In the hand of a doll, my stuff? Oh, their stuff, that's fine, it's dying anyway. Uh, it does put me at 10. Do I have a coin here just to preserve a card off the top? I can't risk burning Alonius, that's for sure. I guess we kind of have to, yeah? This is a swipe sometimes. We'll save it. Could clear two cards, but I think we'll be okay. And the odds of drawing Alonius, you know, it's only 1 in 15. It's not particularly likely, but just can't risk it. It's It's instant game over probably if we do. 
We're gonna coin Wheel of Death anyway. That's fine. I think we'll have time to win here. I think five turns is actually just sufficient. If they play a Phenatum, that would be the bigger concern here, actually, because I just don't clear that very well, especially since I just played my Yogg, but they don't have it, seemingly. So that's good news. I need, um... Yeah, I really need, like, funnel cake or something, right? I don't have any ramp right now. Can copy an A and R too. Um, I forgot I have this as well. <laughs> My God, I don't even know what to use it for right now, though. Doesn't actually seem very good right now. Fun, okay, that's what we need to see. Okay. I think we just throw this away. We just try to grab a uh, card off the top instead. It's better stuff like sparkling file or whatever. So we can go ANR refresh into um, Aulonius into Funnel Cake into Cover Artist, but I don't actually have the rest of what I need for that. Oh, Life Binders helps though. That makes this zero, this two, this zero. Is this lethal then? Oh, hold up, we gotta do this first. I, I think this is just lethal probably, right? We also have Fatigue to help as well. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing this the right way, but it's <laughs> it's working. Uh, yeah. <laughs> cool. I again, I didn't know that was lethal, right? I just I don't even I, I don't know. It was kind of risky, I feel like, but I also had fatigue, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just playing the cards and going. Okay, Malfurion's gift into Wild Growth into Crystal Cluster is definitely a line. Warlock sometimes gives us uh, time for that. Ooh, double Wild Growth maybe we want. Okay, now I'm intrigued. Need some card draw to refill this though. That's felt like the biggest weakness in this list to me is like, sometimes my hand is just all combo pieces and no, no card draw, no stuff to get going, you know? That's definitely felt like a pain. Reverberation's gone, Forge of Will's gone. Okay. That dollhouse is pretty chill. I also feel like I never draw a bottomless toy chest, but it definitely feels like one of the best cards in the deck. Seems very cool. So I guess turn three we gift, turn four we gift into wild growths. Then we cluster. Is it advantageous if I coin a wild growth now? We push to four and then from four we push to six. It actually is advantageous. Yeah, right. From the smallest sea. Four to six gets me the cross the crystal cluster uh, <coughs> pretty early. Then I have pendant to hit ANR maybe and I can use ANR to draw to refill the hand. That would be a pretty good line. You can dig that. Salesman's pretty good to weave in here, yeah. We'll take it. It's going fairly smooth, all things considered, man. When it's on turn four, I'm gonna be playing Crystal Cluster to go up to 10, basically. Um. Hopefully this hits ANR. We have Yogg, Alonius, ANR, Cover Artist, and one more Salesman. So definitely some whiffs potentially there. This is a lot of damage left on board, but it's the, <laughs> it's the right way to do this, I think. We have um, potentially a like heal 10 here and then ANR to draw a bunch. Um, 
We do have seven mana left over this turn after the pendant, so it's kind of something I need to figure out. Crystal Cluster might actually be a really good draw for that, to be honest. <sighs> Could be nice. This seven was probably free. I'm, I'm going to take one of the three big ones. I'm always offered one of the three big ones, I think. So, yeah. Preferred, preferred A&R, I think, but uh, it's okay. I got a trade off, right? We just need stuff to do. I might even gift into randoms here. Spell damage swipes solid. Just need cards, though. This is also solid, but I just need I just need cards. Hopefully this turns into card draw, right? This summons a salesman, which I guess I don't hate. I don't hate it. It does uh, does give me a tradable card, which can turn into card draw, of course. Bro, I, I don't think I've ever seen my innervate, by the way. I, 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 it's in the deck apparently. HS Replay sees it. Hearthstone Deck Tracker sees it, but I've never seen it. I don't think it's in the deck. I've seen plenty of funnel cakes. I mean, I think it is a one of, you know, so maybe that's part of it, but I just don't think I've seen it. Sports getting pretty intimidating. Spill damage swipe becomes not mandatory yet, but definitely intriguing. Seedlings ugh, just take forever, man. Probably still have to play one, to be honest. Let's trade first, though, see what we can grab. Cover artist, okay. Seedling, living roots, okay. Yeah, just not in love, man. I think our turns are kind of bad. Can probably save this one because I lack a lot of damage otherwise. At the same time, taking seven does seem pretty terrifying mm -hmm. when I don't think we're really very close to ending the game. I, I think we're gonna take hits for a while off that if I don't deal with it. Where is my toy chest? Where is my pendant? Where is my uh i don't know yog even i don't know i'll play yog geode so remember that some extra damage although currently actually extra healing because of the harp um so Avalonius funnel cake is an eight mana spend i refresh three so i can play a cover artist into something but not sparkling file Glacial shards are totally fine. I don't care about that. I'm like really, really hurting for a play. Yag, I'll take it, man. Yeah. Do we steal the seven five, or do we just force everybody to attack each other? Kind of thinking about stealing the seven five, man. These can get cleaned up very often in like little AOEs and stuff. I'm gonna take it, dude. I don't know. I'm gonna trust the random spells here. We need a card draw. We need removal. Okay. What I tell you? What I tell you? I knew it. I knew it. It's pretty good. <laughs> I would almost prefer card draw, but this is pretty good. Um, two big old seven fives and returning the favor of what they had earlier. I think they, they had two seven fives earlier. Maybe they actually technically had three, right? Uh, so. Mark of the Wild here is pretty decent. Did they get deal six to all? They're hurting themselves a lot if they do that. Oh, okay. That would have been a good card for Yogg to steal, I guess. This is a good one to bounce if I can get to the outcast easily, though. Really good one. Oh, don't hit Yogg. No. We knew Yogg was doomed, didn't we? Why do we even pretend? Funnel cake again. Alonius funnel cake is two. So I'd have two mana left at the end of that. He'd refresh two, which lets me play a cover artist, but I don't have the mana for another funnel cake. Wow, I'm just sitting here kind of goofy, man. I really need. I 
I really need a better lines. Oh, I'm just sitting here so goofy, dude. So that has a lot of these turns, man. It, like when it works, it's insane, but I don't I don't know what to do differently to avoid these turns, you know? It's not like I'm I'm not I'm I'm trying to find the cards to draw me cards, you know? I'm trying to aim for this stuff. I don't want it yet. Put it back in the deck. Give me good stuff. You know, I'm trying to find it. It's just not here. If the opponent plays more minions, I can get better funnel cakes, but if they don't play minions, I can't get good funnel cakes, which might be, by the way, one way to counter this deck a little bit. But I currently also just don't have any damage, you know? It's not even just, like, funnel cakes. It's like, where's my damage at? Snake oils and living roots and so on. I mean, I'm not dead. I, you know, we got a lot of life to work with, so we got time here. It just It just feels like we're kind of sitting ducks right now just not really doing anything i'm basically passing entire turns oh that's good i think we we don't have any lethals right oh we you know what we could do we could um copy a and r with a cover artist to draw after refreshing um that way we kind of empty the hand and we draw through more this is kind of hurting our combo potential a little bit um but it gets me a hand for Aulonius, right? Which is, I think, more important. I don't have any lethals right now for sure. I bestow these gifts upon the world. The the okay. Oh, shoot. Might have been a mistake. Uh... It was a bit of a mistake, but that's okay. Play, play, play! Oh, God! Oh. It wouldn't grab it! The swipes kept bouncing into hand and screwing me up, man. I'm annoyed. This should be on board. I'm very annoyed. Um... So I don't know, we got cheap funnel cakes. I mean, I think the opponent's pretty dead, but I gotta figure it out. Sargeras. Uh, I need three straight minions for these funnel cakes. I'm gonna burn my cover artist here, aren't I? Oh, I burned a crystal cluster. Okay, I can actually take a downturn again here. We don't, well, are they dead? Oh God. They're definitely not dead with just Alonius and one dollhouse, right? There's no way. They just can't be dead yet. I don't I don't believe it's possible. They're getting close to death though. Toy chest again. I don't really need two of whatever this turns into. Cover artist seems right. Okay, I, I think the opponent's probably dead next turn, but I gotta figure it out. I don't know. Um, so we go <coughs> Aulonius. I could kind of use that Innervate, I guess. Because otherwise I gotta, well, I can funnel kick them, I suppose. Oh yeah, Wheel of Death just doesn't matter at all. That's fine. We don't care. They hit it super late, but that's just not gonna be a relevant time constraint, right? So here's here's three minions. Well, whichever side three minions. So I think they're dead. Sparkling file seems totally fine too. So we refresh over here. We cover artist and then uh now we got 16. This is 18 which makes the swipe deal 20. <laughs> yeah, they're very dead. It's so much damage, it's like, did I have it earlier? You know what I mean? Like, I'm suspicious now. It's like, that was such overkill. I mean, I guess I didn't have the locations earlier and I needed that discount to get the good mana refresh probably, but it's like, 
once you get it it's just so outrageously excessive that you get suspicious that like did you have it before kind of thing